I ordered these, Honda said they had four in stock and when I went to order it, they shipped one. So then they immediately went to back order. Well, a follower found these, they were on eBay. There was a guy in the Netherlands selling them and they actually just arrived a couple of days after Christmas. So there is a whole set of four and then this is gonna be my backup in case anything happens. Hopefully I don't lose one, but basically now I have five and I think these are the only ones left in existence. Rather than take the wheels all over the place, take them to Dave, take the tires off, take them to Austin, bead blast them, take them to Superior, get them paid in, take them back to Dave. That's a lot of trips and a lot of chances of something going wrong. So what I'm going to do is take these to Glenn's in Tampa. He's like a one-stop shop. They can paint, chrome, powder coat, whatever. They should be able to match this perfect. So that's what we're going to do is take the wheels and tires, the new tires, take them over to Glenn's, drop them off, say, call me when it's done. This is the color I want. And I'll show you that whole process while the wheels are getting done, refinish the calipers, put our brake package on, do the coilovers, do it all in one go. Uh, tires, like I mentioned, are 10 millimeters wider. It should give it a little bit more of an aggressive look. I'm going to drop it between 10 and 20 millimeters, something around there. So it gives it the look, but it doesn't lose the function. So let's get started with that. So this is what the wheels and tire combination looks like. I showed this on a past episode, but I'll show you it again. These are just a very generic economy tire, and they're kind of old. They've been sitting for a while, so they've got flat spots, and it does feel bad in the car. First off, you see tread wear of 420. That's not gonna be good for a turbo car at all, any kind of handling. So we're gonna be taking all these over to Glenn's. This is the tire I settled on. And front and back, we're going 10 millimeters wider. So we're going from 215 to 225 on the front. And then the back, we're going to 255, which is basically this one here. Just taking a little bit of this roundness away by squaring the tire out. It looks better on the rim. I'll show you when these come back. Now, these are all in good shape, but they're gonna strip these when they recoat them. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna cut the center caps out, which is pretty easy. Uh, I'm unlikely gonna put new ones in. If they're the originals, they're from 2008. These have a little battery and a little transponder uh, over time. The battery wears down, doesn't transpond right, you lose connection, get a TPMS light on the dash. So I'm unlikely gonna replace those, and those are pretty cheap these days. You don't have to go to Honda and buy those aftermarket ones are all pretty good these days. So calipers, brakes, what we're gonna do here, our stage one package as we call it, is we change the rotors to stop tech rotors, we change the pads, we're gonna completely disassemble the calipers, rebuild the calipers, and braided stainless lines, flush the system, all of that kind of thing. Well, to refinish these, this has to be stripped down anyway, we're gonna refinish these. These are in really good shape, the car has 17,000 miles on it, but as you see, over time, they kind of get discolored. It doesn't have a very good finish on here. So part of, you know, making your car look nice and showing uh, how pretty it is against the wheel. Refinishing those, leaving the, the, the pads black and finishing the clips, everything looks nice. So we'll show you that as we go. So one of the things that we're always a big fan of is removing these and changing them to the Allen and the ones we use are stainless. Well, somebody once mentioned, hey, you don't want to use uh, stainless against steel. It does create like a galvanize or an electrolysis or something like that. Well, that's where we use our space grease, the anti-seize. It stops any of that forming. So that's just a note. But these are usually a little bit of a pain to take out. But we have obviously our tricks to take them out and they will come out in good shape and you can actually put them back in. They're so nice, but we're gonna replace them. So let me take them out real quick. All right, so loaded up, got the wheels and tires. I'm gonna to head to Glenn's. Now he is in Tampa. Um, I'll get you his address. I'll put it in the link, but I'm using my phone to get there. So nice thing about dropping it off with him is not only a one-stop shop, he's gonna take the tires off, finish the wheels, put the tires back on. But let's say if he screws something up, he scratches the wheel, well, he just fixes it. I don't get that call. I don't have to take it back to this guy and then go back to that guy and all that malarkey. I've been there, done that. One-stop shop. Call me when they're done. Do the match? Yes. Is the paint shiny? Yes. Do the tires work? Yes. Uh, his experiences with that is phenomenal. So 
we're gonna head there I'll show you what he's got going on and see if I can get a quick walk around while I'm there and we will see what he has in the shop all right so he already has some cars here that are actually getting turned around pretty good system brings the car in does the wheels puts the tires back on sends them back to the owner it's a pretty good deal all right let me go see inside see who i need to talk to dropping these off he's going to do a spray match make sure that the logo is right the center cap is good and then do a comparison but i think every one of these is in really good shape uh, i don't think there is any damage on these no everything looks really good there's no rash on these very well taken care of again you saw the owner when i bought the car you could tell that he ain't gonna rash the wheels but when they come back it'll be pretty All right, so you're not going to do a walk tomorrow? Oh, yeah, yeah. About an hour. About an hour or two. <laughs> yeah, give me like an hour or so. I'll just wait. I'll go in the parking lot yeah, and just call when it down. We got a little bed upstairs. <laughs> All right, so I'll just wait for you. You're going to do that test card, make sure he's happy with it. Yeah, we want to make sure uh, that the color's right, man. Yep, I'll get the TPMS and get him sent to you. I'll try and get him sent either by tomorrow or uh, Monday. That's 2000, right? Yes. Let's see which way I go. Terrible with directions. Starting back at 329. Up here to the right. All right, perfect. In 600 feet, turn right. In fact, I took my Volk wheels to them back in the day. Quick story, my yellow Type R, I ordered Volks from Mackin Industries. And I think that was the only people you could buy them from. Uh, T37s, bronze in 17s. It took six months almost to the day before I had them in my hand. And of course, expensive wheels. I was like, <laughs> I was broke after buying those things. So I owned them for about a month before I really found anybody that I could trust to take them to. Um, I knew about Glenn's, he was in a different place then. Took them to him, showed it to him, and I must have come off like a nut. I said, listen, these wheels are so rare, they're so expensive. Can you put the tires on without scratching them? Oh my God, if you scratch these things, it's the end of the world. I'm guessing about a week I'll go back pick them up I'm gonna go try and find some TPMS sensors and ship them directly to him uh, he was honest and he says yeah I can buy them I'm gonna buy them from the same people you are but of course if I sell you I gotta mark them up and I understand that it's business it's what goes on so I want to when I come to a safe stop I will pull the uh, good old Amazon up and ship some TPMS's to them and uh, we'll see you in a minute all right, so I just stopped at Wawa to get us a cup of coffees. Now, I thought this was kind of funny, this sign here. And what are they warning you about? That creek river. <laughs> Would you swim in there? I don't think so. Guaranteed to be a few gators in there. Who knows what else? Wow, do they really need to put a sign up? Just got us a couple of coffees. Uh, we do drink the uh, sparkling ice, but not every single day. We do try and break it up a little bit, but I just thought that was kind of funny. I saw that sign. I said, you know, I got to share that. There's no way you need that sign. Feel like a coffee? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Awesome. All right. All right. So they said they're going to do a spray out because there's two variations of that color. I don't really know what that means. I don't know if I thought if you give them a color code, that was a color code, but there's two variations. They're gonna do two spray outs, see how close it is, and then paint them. And nice. I sent TPMS sensors to their shop via good old Amazon. All right, so all the calipers look in good shape. There's no damaged seals. Obviously everything's good. Nothing's seized up, everything floats, but we're gonna rebuild all this stuff. These are always stiff over time, but we're gonna rebuild this so everything floats like it should do make everything nice and pretty again it just looks dingy the back ones look better obviously there's not as much heat in there but the finish should be close to that it's a bright silver 
that I decided to go with. I think it'll complement the car and still look kind of OEM plus without looking too custom and too modified. So I'll work on those. We'll start putting the coilovers on and the rotors and we'll show you a few things along the way. Okay, so remember what the calipers looked like. So these hardware have already stripped and cleaned these these are all now nice and the uh, the shims are good brackets these are the brackets are already done they just got to be assembled these are the brackets that i've already assembled it's got the new pins and the slides and the boots everything looks so much nicer so keep that in mind if you're looking at doing this we offer silver and black this is what i'm choosing obviously the black looks good as well depends on the color of the wheel depends on what theme you have going for but keep this in mind this is just some of the extra little things. You see how nice the rubber boots are. They're absolutely beautiful. And this hardware too, all this hardware is cleaned. There's the brackets for the back calipers. We haven't done the calipers yet. They're gonna be stripped and clean and completely redone. They're the fronts. Uh, just the brackets right now are done. Again, this is just, takes time. It's getting done after hours and around other jobs. Obviously, if you book your car in, your car is the job. It gets done right away. There's no waiting. Everything is much much faster for you all right so wheels just pick them back up from glenn's look at that they look awesome absolutely perfect this is what i like about those guys uh, that's just soap wish they'd wash them with soap and water because whenever you see that it looks like a mark on it and it's just the soap from installing the tire but these are good um dust caps are missing on two of them those back ones, we got them for the front. Not the end of the world. I think I'll change those to black. They don't look good in gray. So what do you think of that color? That is beautiful. So just to give you an idea, they are gonna look good against that red. So the calipers, I've been showing you a little bit along the way how they look. You can see how nice they look. With a nice black rotor, the caliper's done, the pads are all clean. I don't, I don't like to paint the whole thing. You've seen the guys mask off the line and paint the whole entire thing. And this is silver. This is silver. Everything's separated properly. Looks nice. It's got our stainless Allen bolts in here. So should be good to go. Still got to put the brake line in, flush, bleed it. But the coilovers are in. Once it's bled, we'll put the wheels on, put it on the ground, and see how it looks. All right, so for right now, we're going to use... Our factory lugs in chrome. I know everyone's gonna hate them. The only ones we have in black right now are the taper style, and these are a ball style, so they're not gonna fit the wheel properly. Let me show you here real quick. So yeah, as you see, the silver doesn't look good, but you know what? We want to keep the wheel on for right now. We can switch those out. In fact, we'll do a full episode of changing out lug nuts. Someone's gonna love that, and someone's gonna hate it. But <laughs> so. Look how good that looks. It's just enough definition between the darker silver on the wheel and the bright caliper, but it's not too, you know, custom. I don't want to have that really gaudy look. And again, I'm not saying anything bad about it. It's just a certain look I wanted. I wanted it kind of like that OEM plus, I guess is the word that everybody's using now. It's kind of like a upgraded version of factory, which I kind of like. So we'll get these on, torque them. We'll just torque in the front one right there. We'll get these down, we'll see how close our coilovers are, see if it's the look we're going for. And again, keep in mind these tires are 10 millimeters wider. We don't have the spacers on here. I'm still uh, waiting for them to come back from machining. But these, again, 10 millimeters wider, 255 on the back and 225 on the front. So that'll give it a little bit more of an aggressive look. And as I showed you earlier, this has a much more squarer look. So I'm going to move it onto a flat surface so we can kind of gauge the height. Actually, it looks pretty level first shot. We can measure it again, but that looks, that looks pretty good, huh? Yeah, it's pretty easy. So 
so the numbers are even left and right both left and right rears are the same left and right fronts are the same it's what three eighths high in the back yeah three eighths higher in the back yeah it's just it's noticeable though i know it's not only three eighths but it looks high in the back um i think let's come down quarter inch in the back yeah i wouldn't do a full three eighths but... no because it'll offset it quite a bit but I think it's perfect in the front for me. That's kind of like the height I like. Uh, I mean, visually it's got the look without being rubbing or anything like that. And it's a bit more aggressive, but I think quarter in the back will do it. And again, 10 millimeters wider. It's a little bit more of a beefy look now. It doesn't really need to come out anymore. And we can keep the rubbers right here. These rubbers are still in perfect shape. If you start coming out any more or any lower, you're going to get running into these, which you can remove those, get a little bit more room. But of course, with this thing being so mint, I almost don't want to do that. There's more room in the front, which is why some people do go uh, 20 millimeter on the front. But then you run into this tab right here. So I don't know. As nice as this thing is, I almost don't want to run the spacers. These are uh, brand new, they're rears for an EP3, they're what we bought for a project and never used them, it was a, like a custom suspension project. This is something you can use, brand new, I'll make you a really crazy deal on them. Anyway, this are, these are Pro C's, basically the same suspension as what we just put on the S2000. What we're doing to change the height is adjusting this section right here. This, if you break these two loose, you can actually compress the spring. We're just adjusting this part. So we're gonna back off this collar, screw this end, or in this case, we can actually put a wrench on this part. These are locked together. So it screws this thread down into here, lowers the car, and then you're gonna lock that ring back down. Super easy. This side down a quarter, this is where it needs to be. Is it really? Yeah. That looks good. I mean, it might just be because of that black stripping around the, fa the, the lip there. So now if we go down another eighth, it'll go down half an inch. Yes. <laughs> it's like corner balancing. You corner balance it, and you're really happy with the way the car is corner balanced, and, and you look at it. You pull it down, and it's sitting on three wheels. It's yeah, it's one wheel doesn't even use the road, <laughs> but it's corner balanced. So it's compromise between getting it looking right and getting it working right. I'd say we're splitting hairs, but we're not. We're splitting eighths. Yeah, they're big hairs. Or actually, for the European people, that'd be 642 millimeters. Is that how many it is? Yeah, 642 millimeters to an inch or four kilometers to a foot. Is it kilometers? I think so. Okay. It'll start a debate either way. Okay, we'll go down. We'll go down 14 millimeters on the way. All right, so this is the center cap and this is the paint code that we used to match the center cap NH546M. Uh, the lady at the coffee place wanted to take dog dog. You should say, all right. Uh, let's start negotiating. Shut up. <laughs> she was like, oh my gosh, she's so cute. If she was my dog, I would never leave home. Did she offer money? <laughs> What's your value, dog dog? Uh... What do you think? <laughs> hey, what do you think you're worth? Mm. <laughs> hey, a couple of bones and a week's worth of food. <laughs> Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> How can you not? Uh, Look Bruce, at that face. Bruce hasn't been here yet, but I know he's going to be bringing you treats. Uh, All right. Do you want to grab coffee or dog dog? What's easiest for you? Um, how about coffee? Okay. I'll take dog dog because it's like, you know, good. What did you get? All hot? Yeah, all hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Mine is the one with the lipstick because I've already been drinking. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if that was like pre-tested by the, uh, the, the person out the window. Thank you, Esther. He gets a Grand Skim CDL Lat, whatever that is. I get a white chocolate mocha. That's just my regular. Oh, she's got the same thing. All right, so that's our coffee orders, just in case you guys are interested, in case you want to share our uh, drink choices. But this is mine right here. So Dog Dog is being super chill. She totally loves the attention. So thanks for watching. Next video, we're gonna do some driving shots, see what you think about the wheel combination. Of course, the wheel's the same, it's just the color, but the brake, the height that we've set it at. Hopefully you like what you're watching. If you do, you can follow along, hit the like and hit the subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Don't forget, enjoy your cars.